Hi everyone, it is Lisa Lyle here of Wisdom of the Heart Intuitive Healing on Facebook and I am excited to say I am back with your weekly intuitive guidance and this guidance is for the week starting Sunday March the 30th through to Saturday April the 5th. Just a couple of things, currently registration is open for the New Moon Healing on um, it's taking place the healing will be channeled on Monday March the 31st although the moon um, does become new on Sunday uh, afternoon at around 244 so if you'd like to get in on that healing circle um, please check out the link below and you can go through and register the next two moons are I believe strongly the most critical moons of this year so that is the new moon on April the 30th um, April 30th March the 30th as well as the full moon on the 15th of April along with that solar eclipse so if you'd like to be in for both healings your way in is $81 for both of those circles I'm also really excited to share with you that begin, uh, beginning with this new moon on March the 30th, I will be creating j crystal elixirs um, and spritzers. They will all be um, uh, packaged in glass bottling and labeled with what the crystal contents in there and the intention of the specific elixir. Those are $15. In plus um, $7 shipping for North America, $10 shipping worldwide, and we will be limited to uh, 18 bottles per um, batch just to keep the quality really high and, um, um, and, and limited, uh, in fact. So if you're interested in, in one of those, again, just visit my website, click on Donate, and enter in the um, amount that you would like to purchase. So without further delay, we are going to get back to these um, messages, these weekly messages. I've really missed um, offering them to you and thank you to all of those who sent me notes expressing how much you missed them and how much you were hopeful to have them back. So here they are, they're back and I'm very excited. For this reading, I was guided right away to the Archangel Michael deck. And because many of us are being asked to uh, make some big changes, and this takes heaps and heaps of courage, and so Archangel Michael would like to show us the way. I was also guided to my Gaia Oracle deck, and I was um, told, of course, that this is the guidance from Mother Earth, who is supporting us all and encouraging us all to continue to do our heart-centered healing work because as we do, we support her and oh my god, these cards are beautiful! Also, I was guided to the Spirit Oracle deck, so just a little message from your soul, what your soul would like you to know as you're moving into this coming week. And finally, from my very own deck, which is now all sold out, Everyday Wisdom, there are a couple more decks in the works for this year. Um, so we're guided to this one just to give us some practical guidance, things we can do in our everyday life that will support our um, forward movement on our healing path. And, you know, this isn't for the faint of heart, this path. And I'm, I'm guided to say that because um, there seems to be this idea that we can go out there and, um, that's just messy shuffling. We can go out there and there's some quick fix. There's some magic pill that's going to, um, you know, take us to where it is we want to be. And that just isn't the way. And that's a really unrealistic um, idea that many people have. And, and, you know, we see it all around, you know, sort of page hopping for readings and stuff. And, you know, readings are wonderful and they're a great tool for guidance and support, yet the simple fact of the matter is, is if you're unwilling to take that guidance and apply it into your daily life to do something different, nothing's going to change. And you can go from page to page to page and get reading after reading after reading. You'll likely find the same messages are coming through for you and they will continue to come through for you, maybe in different ways. Um, until you're ready to do something different, until you're ready to do your work. And, uh, you know, if you think this isn't work, if you think that I don't work each and every day to uh, maintain my sanity <laughs> 
and move forward on my spiritual path, you're wrong because I do. And, and it's a commitment that I make to myself. It's a commitment that I make to you in order to be of service um, to the spirit that moves through us all. So the first card that came out for us, oh, look at that. <laughs> There's two from Archangel Michael is guarded and protected. And what this is saying to me is that as you're being encouraged to make these um, sometimes life-altering changes, most of the time life-altering changes, um, you're guarded and protected at all times. And I also feel very much the presence of Archangel Raphael here, working with Michael, saying, continue on your healing path. As you continue, know that there's nothing that can touch you. There's nothing that can harm you. You've got this shield around you, and it's about owning your space. It's about owning your truth and it's about continuing to journey within and walk forward confidently knowing that the angels surround you at all times you're always guarded and protected and I actually feel over here strongly the presence of Archangel Michael and Raphael so know that you're guarded and protected as you move through this week and this is a beautiful message to receive at the beginning of the week because as I said this new moon on Sunday is critical and many, many, many of us are being guided to make the changes. And some of us are getting a swift kick in the ass to do them because you've known for a long time and delay uh, is not an option any longer. It's time to get going. And the prayer on here says, Thank you for protecting my loved ones and me, ensuring that we are safe and that all of our needs are met. I now accept your help gratefully and gracefully knowing that it's right for me and all others to accept heavenly assistance. So it's there for us. And again, this is the same. It goes back to getting readings from various different sources. It's great. You've got all this support around you. Now what are you going to do with it? Right? It's kind of like, you know, um, driving, a, having a car with no wheels on it. What are you going to do with it? You know, you're going to change something, right? You're going to put some wheels on it, and then you're going to be able to move again. So... Take the information you're receiving, take the messages you're receiving, and do something with it. The second card that I didn't even know had come out from the Archangel uh, Michael deck is write about your thoughts and feelings. So for many of us, you know, there's um, a saying, um, you know, sleight of um, tongue and pen. So it's really important for a lot of us to process these intense emotions that we're feeling to, uh, as we move forward on our healing path or move more deeply within or begin our healing path. It's important. It's a great practice to get into writing. And this is a recurring theme. I say it to clients all the time. I practice it myself. This is a way I have conversations with God when I write and I receive the answers that I need. And sometimes it's easier to do it that way to write it out, and then to look back, read over what's been written, and extract the messages that are meant for you and meant to support you forward on your healing path. So it says, thank you for helping me tap into my God-given creativity and wisdom so I clearly express myself and glean insight, blessings, and healing. And so Archangel Michael governs our throat chakra, our truth, our communication center. And we need to begin to um, truthfully communicate with ourselves with love and compassion and kindness. And, you know, we often tend to um, project outwards. Our issues are because of this person, because of that person, because of my job, because, 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 because. And I have to say, reel it in, rein it in. Your issues end and begin with you. So claim your power, stand in it, speak your truth, first of all, lovingly and gently to yourself, write it, and then you're going to begin to be able to communicate your truth to others in a most loving and compassionate way. The uh, Gaia Oracle card that came up for us is Amethyst, and I've been hearing Amethyst a lot. It feels like many are struggling with addictions, whether it's alcohol, drugs, food, sex, rock and roll, whatever it is that's your drug of choice. Amethyst is going to be the stone that helps to ease you away from your addictions, and this card says transformation, certainty, and confidence, and so it speaks about that Archangel Michael energy 
Be confident in your truth. Trust your truth. I mean, this is this is the number one um, block to us living the full manifestation of our dreams is our self-doubt, um, lack of confidence. We don't believe in ourselves, blah, blah, blah. And, I mean, the reality is, and, and I'm right there with you, we are being asked, believe in you, believe in your heart-centered dreams, believe in your truth, and believe in your divinity, because you are so much more than you currently believe, and then you give yourself credit for. We all are, and we're all learning, we're all in this together. So working with Amnethyst at this time is going to be rather important. Sacred geometry, I feel, from this card, as well as that God energy, that sun energy, solar plexus chakra. Many of us are having some big struggles through the solar plexus. And again, this is um, the home of the ego, and it's also free will choices. It is our power center. This is the fire in the belly. This is a home of our intuition, and we need to start believing in it. So Amethyst is going to help to link the solar plexus and the third eye chakra as it clears out. And we need to create time and space in our daily lives for the integration of all these new energies because shifts are changing and happening whether we're aware of it or not. It's happening. If we're aware, there are things that we can do to support ourselves. And working with crystals, meditation, yoga, um, cleansing and purifying our physical body, all of these are greatly supportive ways to help us move forward again on that healing heart-centered path. We are all being asked to return home. Our souls are calling us home. And here's the kicker. Home resides right here within each of us. So come back to your home. Come back to that safe place where you are supported, eternally loved, and encouraged to continue to speak your truth. The next card out from us, from the goddess uh, guidance, was Kuan Yin, and she speaks about compassion, self-love, self-acceptance, self-forgiveness, self-belief. These are the lessons of Kuan Yin, and Kuan Yin also speaks about that quiet time, finding that still, silent place within. She is the epitome of the divine feminine energy. She oozes love and acceptance unconditionally. And this uh, message on this card says, Release judgments about yourself and others. And I'm being guided to highlight about yourself. All relationships begin and end within you. They begin and end with your relationship to your beautiful self. So be easy on yourself and be patient with yourself as you transition through these changes. That is going to be um, the most supportive thing that you can do for yourself. So release judgments about yourself and others and focus on the love and light that is within any everyone and within everything. So anything that you see in me that's bubbly, bright, love and light, I'm here to say I merely reflect all that's already within you. So, you know, take that. Again, this speaks greatly of this heart-centered healing. And this is where we're guided to live from. And that's, for, for most of us alive on the planet at this time, that's um, not what we've been told. <laughs> it's not what we've been led to believe. We've been led to believe we're to muscle our way through with our brains or uh, be aggressive, um, you know, um, aggressively move through life through that solar plexus pushing and demanding not only of others of ourselves right and this is not the way of Kuan Yin Kuan Yin is the way of compassionate Kuan Yin teaches us to walk the heart-centered path of the peaceful warrior and so that's what all of you are who are watching this video you're rainbow warriors and rainbow warriors are here for revolution we are here to initiate change. It's happening all over the world. We see it and we are being encouraged to keep going within, compassionately, gently, lovingly. The next card was from what our spirit wants us to know, what our soul wants us to know, and it's speak your truth. All this golden energy with the star in the middle of the forehead. Your truth is that you are a divine creation of God. We are all created from the same source and your true power 
comes from your connection to God through your heart. This connection is what connects you and I. It's what connects me and the trees, you and the trees, all of it. We are all connected through our hearts. And so we need to clear away the pain, the fear, the guilt, the shame, okay? The judgments through our heart so that we can connect in a more authentic way with others. First with ourselves and the God that resides within us, and then we're able to take that out there and connect with others. And so the message on the back of this card, what your soul is saying to you this week, stand up for what you believe in regardless of the consequences. Speak your truth regardless of what others may think. It's time to stand in your own power and shine for the world to see. And this is true. It's for all of us. This greatly resonates with me this week. And again, it speaks right back to that um, Archangel Michael energy. We are protected and guarded as we speak our truth and claim our power. Major solar plexus chakra healing with this new moon. I'm feeling it. I'm clearing it. I'm doing my work. Are you? And the message from Everyday Wisdom was feathers. And this message just simply speaks of the angels are always near. So all those, every time you see a feather, every time you see a winged wise one, every time you connect with a rock or a branch, a stick or a tree, this is your connection to divinity. This is your guides and angels encouraging you forward on your beautiful heart-centered path you're doing great, you're eternally supported and unconditionally loved and accepted. And now, this week, it's time that you offer those gifts to yourself. Work with writing, work with meditation, work with cleansing. This is a perfect week to cleanse out. Um, I've been shown that the fire in our bellies, so this, um, this fire in our bellies has been... Um, dampened, if you will, by insecurities, doubt, fear, anxiety, stress, pain. It's been dampened. It's been, the fire's been dimmed. And now it's our time to stoke this fire with the life blood of the earth, which is our breath, and allow that to clear this space, soothe this space, working with herbal remedies, working with water and crystal elixirs, all of these things. Trust your inner guidance because you already know what is the best um, way for you to continue forward on your healing path. I offer you so much love, respect, light, and gratitude from the depths of my heart. I am so honored and I feel a great privilege and I feel immense joy from being able to serve in the way that I do. I'm not perfect. I'm merely a spiritual being here learning how to integrate all of that ancient wisdom, all that I know through my eternal connection to God so that I may serve and share that wisdom with all of you. And my hope is that one of you feels empowered and inspired by my messages. And if you do, all I have to say to you is shine on. You are a beautiful reflection of me and I am a beautiful reflection of you. Sending so much love, light, respect, and gratitude until we see each other again. Take good care and namaste. Peace.